Well, continuing on in the blue probability slice, we will be looking at probability of independent events. A spinner has 20 equally sized sections, 12 of which are red and 8 of which are green. Now the spinner is spun and at the same time a fair coin is tossed. What is the probability that the spinner lands on red and the coin toss is tails? Okay, well in this problem of course it's important to read it, but one of the most key words in the entire problem is this little conjunction, this little word and, because it is going to tell us exactly what we need to do. So focus on this small word, A-N-D, and, and let's take a quick look at our notes. Now, when we talk about the probability of independent events, or the probability of A and B, and notice that Alex likes this little horseshoe symbol, sometimes used in set notation for intersection, but we typically read that and, the probability of A and B. When you're calculating the probability of A and B both occurring, then we have a multiplication rule. So the main rule here is that we are going to multiply probabilities together. Okay, so the basic rule is multiply. What we simply need to do then is to calculate the probability of each of the things that they're asking us for, then we'll multiply them together. So let's go back over here and see what it is that they want. Well, in the first situation, we've got one of these spinners, and we're going to have 12 uh, red sections, 8 green sections, but we care about the spinner landing on red. Now, once again, any probability, remember that it's always a fraction. It's a fraction about the number of ways to get what it is that we want. Well, in this case, we want red, and so we're going to go over here, take a look at the number of ways that we can get a red, which we said was 12. The number of total spaces on the spinner is 20, and so the probability of getting red then is going to be 12 out of 20 because it has the 20 equally sized sections. Now, we're also at the same time going to flip a coin. Well, uh, we want that coin to come up tails. So the coin is fair, which means there's only one tail on it, which means basically that we are going to have one tail and two sides altogether. So the probability that we have then is going to be one out of two. Now, we're going to multiply these probabilities together. Uh, various ways to do this. A simple way is top times top, bottom times bottom. So we would have the fraction 12 fortieths, which we could leave as a fraction. We could reduce that fraction. But depending on what Alex wants here, they say to do not round your answer. But apparently, they want this answer expressed as a decimal because they don't give us the option of entering this as a fraction. So what we're going to do here is to grab our calculator, take our 12, and simply divide that by our denominator of 40, and 12 is turns out to be 0 0.3. And so they say to not round, we will leave our answer 0 0.3.